and we're back with another edition of Web Chat with the Mayor. This time, we're featuring Woodstock with Trevor Birch. Trevor, now we're going to get into a little bit of the capital budget this time around. That's right. This will be uh, Woodstock City Council's uh, first official introduction to the budget process. So uh, Woodstock has a lot of exciting projects that are going to be going on over the next couple of years, and uh, we'll be getting some highlights from the CAO on that uh, capital budget. Now, these are expenses, though, that might take a couple years to, to finish out. That's right. A lot of these projects, when you look at the recreation center or the police station addition, uh, will get shovels in the ground in 2015, but the completion might take another year after that. So, And that'll be at the discretion of council. Uh, staff makes recommendations on timing for various projects. Uh, such as the asphalt uh, replacement schedule and council can decide to increase, decrease, change the timing of those things and uh, so we'll be having our initial discussions. So with your background, is budget something that you get excited about? I definitely get excited about budgets and I think that's uh, one of the uh, things I've talked to a lot of the people in the community about and, and uh, they're also excited to have a council that's really engaged in the budget process. Perfect. Another item on the agenda that I think a lot of people will be interested in is the sale of industrial land to Hydro One. That's right. We have uh, uh, sectional land, uh, again, off of Devonshire Ave, where Ontario Hydro wants to have a regional distribution facility. Um, so we're going to be uh, signing that deal, uh, so to say, at uh, the council meeting. Now, recently I've had talks with Hydro One and there's some more exciting news on that front. Uh, they're looking at potentially making this even larger than what they had first planned. So not larger in the scale of the land, but larger in the employment opportunities that the citizens of Woodstock will have the benefit of. Now this uh, parcel of land that they're purchasing, is this part of the Woodstock Hydro deal or is this an addition to? This is, uh, in a sense, part of the deal. In order for the deal to work, they needed to have a, a command center regionally here. So. Okay, another thing is you will be appointing a uh, sort of a deputy mayor? That's right, the uh, acting mayor position. And uh, this is really important as a formality as well as a, a practical point. Uh, if I'm away or unable to chair a meeting or go to any of these special events that the city's uh, been requested to be at, the uh, acting mayor will fill in in my place. And what kind of a commitment is that? Is that a one year or a full term? It's uh, one year at a time. Uh, in the future, if council wanted to, they could change that uh, within the procedures to make it a longer term. But as it stands right now, it's one year at a time. Wonderful. And then we also have an, uh, an item coming up about the uh, Tecumseh Street property. That's right. That's the former Thomas Bus location, and uh, we were unsuccessful in the past in a, a tax sale. However, People in the community have heard of the future potential use for a marijuana operation. And there's also a parcel of that land that's adjacent to the Woodstock wastewater treatment plant that could be used for future expansion. Uh, as Woodstock grows, we would need to uh, have the county look into expanding that facility. So uh, we're going to be asking council to deed that parcel of land to the county for the Woodstock wastewater system. Wonderful. So lots of great things coming up at City Council Thursday night, 7 p.m. Mr. Birch, thank you so much. Thank you, Ashley.